So we're going to jump back and forth, right? This is 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 21. Mm -hmm. And I saw a, a spirit, I and spared it greatly, mm -hmm. and have kept me a grape of the cluster. Have kept me a grape of the cluster. What's that? A remnant of Israel. Go ahead. And a plant of a great people. A plant of a great people. Who is that? Israel. Go ahead. Verse 22, let the multitude perish then. Let the multitude perish then. Because when you read over there in Isaiah 65, he said the new wine and don't destroy it all because it's a blessing in Two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed. But that cluster, that new wine, it's going to be saved. That river. See that? See how it links up? Preach the phone, preach that line up on line. Here a little, there a little. Uh, that links up, man. Go ahead. Which was born in vain. Which was born in vain. The multitude. Why? Because they blasphemy y'all by Shemel Shah. They're not going to get delivered. They work it. Okay? They're going to get destroyed. They were brought this world in vain. Okay? It's order, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So read what you got in 2 Corinthians 8. And one. Oh, it's a moment. Okay. Let the brother finish this off and he got some more. And Call let me read it. Uh, so like, this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. And let my grape be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. <laughs> have I made it perfect? Okay, through Yahweh shot. So that's why he's not going to destroy uh, a remnant, but the multitude out of there. 66.6% .6 of uh, Israelites are out of there. That's two thirds. So read what you got in uh, Second Ezra 8 and uh, 1. It might, be some, it might be some more in there, but go ahead. Go ahead and start at 1. Let's see what you got. Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 1. And he answered me, saying, The Most High had made this world for many, but the world to come for few. All right, jump down to verse 3. Second Edris, chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. There you go. There you go. So read that again. Verse 1, then jump down to 3. 2nd Ezra chapter 8 verse 1 and he answered me saying the most high had made this world for many but the world to come for few the remnant man the elect that turned back to him so those are the ones that are going to get the mercy the Gentile which are Israelites when you read the New Testament those are the ones that are going to get the mercy Everybody else pissing the most high off. Hurting them. So go back to uh, Isaiah 65. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 8. Thus said Yahweh, as the new wine is found in the cluster. So you understand what that means now. That new wine is dealing with a remnant. Go ahead. And one said, destroy it not. Destroy it not. Why? Because that's the remnant. Okay? Them the ones that's perfect. That the most high labor to be perfect. Okay, go ahead. For a blessing is in it. A blessing is in it. Don't destroy it. Go ahead. So will I do for my servant's sake. So will I do for my servant's sake. And who is the servant of the most high? Give me uh, Isaiah 44 and uh, 1. Let's find out. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, 
my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Right. All right, jump back. This is uh, Isaiah 65, chapter 65, verse 8. Thus said Yahweh, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. Go ahead. Verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and an in, in, inherit, inheritor of my mountains and mine elect shall inherit it, shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Uh, see, who is that seed out of Jacob? Yahweh shot, man. Right? See that? Because the most I, when they said, when they said they are holier than thou, the most I said, man, I gotta send my son. I can't. I, yeah. I gotta send my son and y'all, hey man, I ain't dealing with y'all no more. So that's why that's a prophecy that Yahweh shot coming in the future. Uh, you see? So they say, is Yahweh shot in the Old Testament? There it is right there. But see, when you go back up, when you read, when you read uh, Isaiah 64, because see, what it is is uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 65, Isaiah 65 is, uh, is going into detail about some of uh, Isaiah 64. Okay, because they saying they are holier than thou. When you go back up, when you go back up, Isaiah was telling you in Isaiah 64, uh, verse 6, it says, but, but we are all as unclean things. Okay, it's Isaiah 64 and uh, 6. But we are all as unclean things, and all our righteousness as filthy rags. Feel the rag when you deal. Hold on. It feels the rag when you deal with it. It's like a a, a woman on her flower or her menstrual cycle. That's how the Most High look at us as a people when we start rebelling. We was unclean, man. So there's nothing we can do to go to Him. He's like y'all out of there. But over in Isaiah 65, uh, Jake was saying they're holier than thou. But in 64. The most I was saying, look, y'all feel the rag. In other words, y'all like a woman uh, uh, that, that uh, y'all y'all like a like a garment, y'all like a garment that got a woman menstrual cycle on it. Yeah, that's the way the most I was looking at it. Looking at us as the people. It says, but but we are all as unclean things. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do faith as a leaf. We don't have no strength. We just like a leaf. I ain't got no strength. You can take that leaf off and crush it. That's how the most I was looking at. We ain't got no strength. We just like a leaf. And our iniquity, like the, like the wind, have taken us away. Sin have taken us away from the most high. And that's how he was looking at it. But over here in Isaiah 65 and uh, in uh, Isaiah 65 and uh, 5, it says, Which say, stand by thyself, come not near me to me. So like it says, Which say, stand by, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burns all day all the day. So by us saying that, that that pissed the most high off. So that's why he had to send his son. So when you read over there, continue reading verse 8. Alright, uh continue reading after verse 8. Yeah, verse 9, I want to okay. say Salaki. Okay, this is a chapter, this is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 9. So we couldn't even go to the most high no more. We was out of there. Most high looked at us like Y'all gone. But I still love you. Y'all my chosen people. I'm going to have mercy on you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a remnant out of y'all. I ain't going to even rescue y'all. Y'all out of here. 
Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Ju Judah an inheritor of my mountains. Here's your whole shot. The mountain represents the government. All you got to do is read Isaiah the second chapter. They'll tell you about the government. Okay? Mounds represent government. Go ahead. And my elect shall inherit it. My elect shall inherit it. You got Israel, which is a chosen, but you got a chosen which, with, uh, which is inside of Israel, which is the elect, the remnant, the ones who are going to turn back. Okay? Go ahead. And my servants shall dwell there. Yep. And uh, this is uh, verse 10. Yeah, Sharon. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, mm -hmm. and the valley of Acor, Acor mm -hmm. a place for the herd, herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. Yeah. So what it is is, uh, Sharon is in Jerusalem. And uh, when you read uh, Numbers, I want to say it's Numbers, uh, uh, Numbers, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, let me see here, Numbers, uh, no, I mean, uh, I mean Joshua, 7, 7 and, uh, 7 and 20, 24, Joshua 7 and 24, uh, up in that area, it mentions about, uh, uh, Acorn, Ac let me see, it mentions about, uh, what is, what's the name again, uh, Acorn. It mentioned around Acor, okay, in Joshua 7 and 24. So when you look up the word Acor, it means uh, trouble, okay? And uh, uh, Sharon, uh, I got to look that up. I can't remember what that means. Uh, we can look it up real quick. But it's a land, it's a land in, uh, in, in, in uh, Israel, but I believe it's another name for Israel, I want to say. Matter of fact, I think I got. Let me see if I got the blue letter up on my phone. Let me check it out. Yeah, to make sure. You got it loaded. Yeah. Yeah, plane. So, uh, Sharon is dealing with a plane. So it's a land. It's a, it's, it's a part of a land. Okay. So when you look that up, and acor mean uh, trouble. So read that again. All right, this is uh, I, this is Isaiah chapter sixty-five, verse nine. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there, mm -hmm. and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks. And Sharon shall be a fold of flock. What? That's where the Israelites going to be at. Okay? Because it's a land. Sharon is in Jerusalem. Okay, go ahead. And the valley of Achor, a place for the for the herds to lay down in. Yeah, because when you when you are uh, uh, when you deal with uh, uh, Achor, when you read about uh, uh, in Joshua 7 24, there was trouble. In that land, there was trouble in that land, but they ain't gonna no no more be troubled. They can lie down and be be comfortable. In other words, okay, go ahead. For my people that have sought me, for my people who have sought me, meaning the remnant, okay. So Israel gonna be put back in that land. Be left. Go ahead. Verse eleven. But ye are, but ye are they that forsake the that forsake Yahweh. That forget my holy mountain. Where is this holy mountain at? Jerusalem. Okay? But it's saying a remnant, the one that saw him, is going to be there. But the one that forsake his holy mountain, okay, which is in Jerusalem, when you read uh, Isaiah the second chapter, okay, go ahead. That prepared a table for that truth mm -hmm. and that furnished the drink offering onto that number. Yeah. So what that is is. Martial law, when martial law come, when martial law come, these military troops and these Gurga troops <coughs> is going to be on the next 
of you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, okay? Because you forsook Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You didn't seek uh -huh. after him. So yeah. the people that you're following in the world is going to cause you to be taken in martial law, man. Yeah, just like we had that pastor come up, and I asked him about the mark of the beast. He didn't know. I asked him, I asked him uh, how many people he got uh, in his con congregation. He said 500. The book of the box said 500 lost souls. <laughs> <laughs>